What's good, YouTube? It's KB with Just Do Boxing back with another video, man. I wanted to get do a quick update, man. I came across an interview done by YSM Sports Media. So salute to YSM Sports Media where he was interviewing, you know, the trainer, Greg Hackett, who's in Jerron Boots Ennis' gym. And he has some very interesting things to say. And I know y'all see the title of this video. So I'm going to let y'all hear that interview. Then I'm going to come back with my final thoughts about what I think. Last question, Jimmy. Fight week. Yeah. Jerron and us. Yeah. Castillo Clay. Yeah. What happens? This might be, this might be, because of the circumstances, the best performance of Boots' career. Because he is, let's keep it real, he is going up in the ladder. Castillo Clayton, I've been checking him out. Never really fought a guy with a losing record. He got one guy on his record, and they got more uh, losses than wins. One guy out of a 19-0 record with one, with one draw. Um, he's fought at 154 a few times, more than a few. So that lets me know he, he's used to, you know, packing that weight on and being a little stronger. Um, he's a grown-ass man, 34 years old. This fight right here could change his life. If you imagine, 34 years old, you, the biggest fight of your life is a is a 24 year old kid, and imagine if he beat Boots. So he gonna try to fight. He gonna come in there. He gonna come in there wanting to win. Thing is, Boots is on such a roll, a consistent roll. It's gonna be hard to do that. Boots has been training every day hard, like this. You know what I'm saying? His level. His level of training is, is through the roof. Um, I think this will be a good fight, but I think for real, for real Clayton, something saying seven. Seven, he gonna go. And it is gonna be from a body shot. It's gonna be from a body shot. Clayton keep his hands up high. He not gonna let you hit him in his head too much. I think Bruce gonna put a nice combination up top, slide to that liver real crazy, sit, sit down real crazy, stomp on that liver. And, and I think Clayton, I don't think Clayton will quit, but I think the, the, the punch and accuracy and the power is going to get to him from Boots. I mean, I think he, I think Boots just going to slow him down and, and stop him. I mean, frustrating first for the first two rounds. Frustrating. Let him know he can't box with him. Third round, start putting pressure on him. Fourth round, start putting the beating on him. Fifth round, start the torture. You know what I mean? Sixth round, you start annihilating him. And, and seventh round, you go ahead and send him on his way. Put your suit on. Go ahead and watch your business. You know what I mean? I think, I think he's going to put up a good fight, though. I think he's going to give us a couple oohs and ahs before they boost get him out of there. But I think he's definitely going to get out of there early. You know what I mean? Because I've been watching Boost do that for three crank, three camps now. I've been watching him beat. Listen, man, I don't, I don't like the sugar coat. Beating these motherfuckers up, man. Beating them up. Breaking their spirits. I'm talking about these niggas is getting in cars and, and going home and crying, man. I'm talking about for real, man. I'm watching it, man. I'm why? I'm why? Listen, there's no hype. There's no cat for all the young boys. There's no cat. There's no hype. There's no wolf tickets. No bullshit. These niggas been getting in the car and been crying. I'm telling you. And be coming back. Listen, how I know he doing them dirty? They been coming back with the motherfucker. You know how after you cry, you get the dry skin? You get the line? They coming back with that. They got the dry tear line down their face and shit. They don't want to come here, man. I'm being real. Come on, man. Call it what you want. I'm being real. I'm just a witness. I'm just a messenger. I've been watching it. He been beating the shit out of people, man. For so, real. So you've seen A-level prospects or... Um, man, everybody their mom. If you got two arms, two legs, and you call yourself somebody and you walk in here, I watch you get humble. I watch you. I don't give a fuck who you say you is and what you might have did. It's one guy. Listen, I swear, I swear to God, it's one guy that's not in this gym that don't even train here, that don't train in Philly or none of that, that I seen do eight rounds with boots. Everybody else getting cut at five and six. They getting cut off. That shit, that shit is like, no, I can't take it no more. And one of my favorite guys that I thought was going to really give him some work, three rounds, get out of here. That shit was, this, it should be fucking me up, bro. I ain't going to lie. I, it, it, there's no cat. There's no bullshit. So I can't do nothing but want to gamble on boots. You know what I'm saying? I, he's giving me, he's giving me everything I want to see as a coach. Everything that I want to see in a fighter, he got it. 
and he putting it in. And the, and the thing is that I love, he getting meaner. He getting meaner, and that's what I love. If a motherfucker know me, they know I like mean. I like that mean shit. So y'all heard it right there from one of Boo's trainers, you know, former fighter, current trainer that's constantly always in the gym, you know, watching Boots. You heard exactly what he said. He said Boots is absolutely annihilating his sparring partners and beating these guys up. And a lot of these dudes ain't even able to go no longer than three to five to six rounds with Boots, you know, before before they just give out and they can't take it, man. I thought that was very telling, man. So. I think Castillo Clayton is in big, big trouble. I'm not saying just because, you know, I hear that, you know, Boots was making some of these guys get in the car and cry, basically, you know. I'm not saying that Clayton's going to give up because he's undefeated as well. He's not going to lay down. He's going to come to fight. But as I've always stated, he has a very, very tough ta tough task in front of him in, in Jerron Boots and this man. He's going to have more than his hands full. And I just honestly believe he hasn't seen anyone close to the skill set of Jerron Boots in this yet and I think it's going to show from the opening bell and like I said in my other video if y'all didn't watch that go check it out I made a bold prediction and like I said I don't see this fight going longer than six to seven rounds max and if it does I would be highly surprised because I think you know Jerron Ennis is just you know he he's ascending he's constantly getting better I mean he's constantly you know showing us little flashes of, of new things and i think this is going to be a coming out party for him because still clayton won't win around i'm boldly putting that out there now and like i said my prediction is he ain't going longer than six to seven rounds max if he does i'll be very surprised but nonetheless even if he makes it out of the seventh round he's not going to go full 12 with jerron boots in this i just simply don't believe that i think boots is on a you know a one-way path of destruction and i think any and everybody that gets in his way is in trouble and it just so happened that unfortunately for castillo clayton he's the next victim up on on boots list and i expect him to do extremely well and like i said man i don't want to make it sound like you know castillo clayton is not a live body in there or a live dog because he is but if you know how i know and if you've seen both fighters perform and you've seen you know tape on and footage on these guys you will see that Jerron Boots Ennis is just on another level, man. And I think we're going to see exactly that when they get in the ring Saturday night, May 14th, man. Expect to see possibly one of the best performances I think you've seen thus far out of Jerron Boots Ennis, man. I think he's truly going to come to put on the show. Uh, I don't expect him to fold under the pressure at all. I think he built for this, man. I think this kid is on his way to superstardom. Like I said, he's only 24 years old and already he's 28 and you know, with 26 knockouts. And I expect Saturday night to be his 29th win and his 27th KO. Respect to uh, Castillo Clayton, but I think Boots is going to do a number on him. He's truly going to hurt him. And that's my honest opinion, but yeah, I heard. Yeah, I heard right from the trainer Greg ha Greg Hackett. Excuse me, Greg Hackett. I'm gonna leave his IG handle in there, man. Y'all be sure to go check him out on IG. And again, big salute to YSM Sports Media for the interview, man. I I think this is dope, man. I, he salute to him for bringing ex exclusive content to these YouTube streets, man. So again, salute to YSM Sports Media, man. And y'all get in that comment section and let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all think. Castillo Clayton in big trouble. I do. I know with Boots making, you know, sparring partners get in the car and cry and come back, you know, with dry tears on their faces. It's just another level, man. And that, that for that to happen, I mean, he's put truly putting a hurting on these guys. But that's my thoughts on again in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think and let me know if I gave Jerron Boots sentences just do because that's what I do over here, just do boxing. To the next one, I'm out. Peace.